What is up guys, some hot cookies here, and today we are going to be talking about who the last possible roster spots belong to in Mortal Kombat 1. This includes the 3 to 4 possible ones on the main roster and the last cameo spot. If you guys are excited for the reveal of the full roster for Mortal Kombat 1, make sure to show it off by hitting that like button. And to stay up to date with everything Mortal Kombat 1, the second it's officially revealed, make sure to subscribe. Now let's get into who we think the final roster spots are for in Mortal Kombat 1. Throughout the past couple of months, we have been getting a slow but steady trickle of characters appearing in trailers, gameplay reveals, and combat casts. Now that we've reached September, I'm assuming we have one more trailer to go that will reveal the final combatants of Mortal Kombat 1. This should happen before September 10th in my opinion, and if there are any updates, I'll let you guys know with a breaking news video right here on the channel. But thanks to San Diego Comic Con and the first chapter of the story being released, we have a pretty good idea on who we have left to see when it comes to the main roster. Now, in Mortal Kombat 1 San Diego Comic Con panel, we got two exclusive story cinematic segments shown. One seemed to be mere moments before the Umgadi trailer started, where Liu Kang and Li Mei burst out of a carriage and start fighting enemy troops. Throughout the cinematic, it is revealed that leading the armada of bad guys was none other than Reiko and Mataro. Once the cinematic neared its end, Li Mei and Reiko also seemed to be standing like they were getting ready for a fight leading everyone to believe Reiko is actually going to be one of the main roster fighters left to be confirmed. Not only this, but in the Rulers of Outworld trailer, we see him briefly in the background, seemingly recovering from a fresh defeat. The second trailer seemed to be an extension of the Lin Kuei trailer, specifically the section where they were climbing the castle-like walls together. In this extended portion of the trailer, you see Smoke look up in what seems to be surprise as he hears a screech and then the screen cuts to black. This in turn had people theorizing, myself included, that because of him looking up at the top of the castle-like walls, that it had to be someone with wings, and the first combatant that came to mind is none other than Natara. This combined with Ed Boon's playlist tease, which I will also be linking in the description, and Ashra being in the game makes me heavily believe she will be another one of the fighters left to be revealed. If you don't know what Ashra has to do with Natara at all, also make sure to check out my Banished trailer breakdown video as I briefly cover their history in past games. This would make up two of the remaining four character slots on the main roster. Now, you may be wondering why I said remaining three to four slots at the beginning of the video, and the reason why is because people have been saying that the 24 slots may actually include the DLC bonus pre-order character, which is Shang Tsung. And since Shang Tsung is actually seemingly a big part of the story, I could totally see that being the case. But just in case it's not, we have one more character that might be in the mix as a main rostered fighter as well. Now this next character actually showed up in the chapter 1 release and everyone has been dreading her return. Of course, I'm talking about none other than Kronika. If you guys didn't know, we actually found out she would be coming back at least in a story capacity one entire month before she was officially revealed in the chapter 1 gameplay. If you want to see that video, I will have that one in the description below as well. Now in this new era, I think Kronika will actually be essentially a brand new character in the way she's going to be written. I know Netherrealm knows most of the community is pretty cold on her, and a lot of people already hate the fact that she's back at all. But personally, I think that will take her in a new and better direction in a story sense, and possibly even make her likable to a lot of people who hated her back in Mortal Kombat 11 as they definitely have the opportunity now to do so with this reset timeline. The final character, if it isn't just Shang Tsung, would probably be the big boss of the game, although not officially revealed, most people assume it would be Onaga. But it is possible we just get someone else entirely as the big bad. We would just have to presumably unlock them by completing the main story of the game. Now let's get into who we think the final cameo character is for Mortal Kombat 1. If you've been a fan of the channel for a while now, or you've been to some of the watch parties we've had here for all the live reveals so far, you will know we are heavily invested in Meat being the final cameo roster spot. 
Not only would he fit the cameo role to a T, but if you look at the beginning of the Banished trailer, they actually have a ton of muscle exposed bodies, presumably from Shang Tsung's experiments since we think it's an early version of the flesh pits. And we could possibly see meat as the final cameo character. Other than that, I would have to say if Kronika or the Big Bad isn't a main fighter, they too could possibly fit into the cameo role, and if not, maybe we have a fan favorite of Nuber Jade as the final cameo spot as a last reveal to hype everyone up. That is, everyone I think will fill out the final roster spots for Mortal Kombat 1. Who do you think will make the final roster spots and who do you wish would take those spots if you could choose? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you guys found the video informational or found it entertaining, please consider hitting that like button as it would help me out tremendously. And of course, to keep up to date with all Mortal Kombat 1 news, updates, theories, and trailer breakdowns, make sure to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to catch you guys next time. Peace!